chronic illness is not gonna stop me. You know, we just overcome and adjust and we're gonna have a fun day today. Of course, we gotta do birthday photos here in front of the ball. Saturday afternoon, everyone. I slept a long time. I woke up at 12.45 and asked Janice. That's not very typical for me. I'm yeah. usually up early. But just getting sick all night takes so much out of me. The boys got back around 1.30ish and I was like just finishing with my few hours of like dry heaving and abdominal pain. And at that point, like, I was getting into bed to just go to sleep or try to sleep with a nausea. And then I had to come back one more time to be sick. Did you hear me? I was knocked out checking. Paul did not wake up either, and neither did Judd, so. The problem is their guest bathroom toilet doesn't work. There's actually a cute little sign on it. Um, so I was like, y'all, I've been getting sick consistently every night. I'm gonna have to come in here and I might wake you up. And they were like, you won't wake us up, so. But because of that, I was exhausted and slept a long time today. It is St. Patrick's Day, and I know I'm wearing a blue outfit. Look, I have new shorts from, uh, Judd found these for me at Vera Bradley, and he knows I love flowy shorts, so got them on sale. But there is green Love in my you. headband. Love you too, babe. The boys are going to the range. Judd's wearing a lot of green for St. Patrick's yeah. Day. But I've got some in my headband. Oh, Ryan has a bunch of green gear. You're gonna represent us. Maybe Harlow needs to borrow some so she doesn't get pinched. There's green on my backpack, too. There's no green in there. There's not? Uh, I guess it's blue. Whatever. It's like teal. <laughs> that's a kind of green, right? That's a no, mix? No, it's not. You, what are you wearing that's green? I'm in my PJs still. That means I can pinch you. Harlow's oh, not I'm safe either. <laughs> um, I had to unhook from feeds um, because we <coughs> changed the, the bandaging on my MRSA thing here. I came out of the bathroom and Janice like, you look traumatized. <laughs> it hurts, but I think it's getting better. We don't have to pack the wound anymore. And that is like the part that hurts the most, taking the packing out you and better changing not it. better give me MRSA. Yeah, Janice had MRSA and now and she I'm does cured. it. She's I'm cured. cured. And I'm like, First time teach I'm me your ways. I literally follow everything the doctors tell me to do, all of the like antibiotics and stuff and stuff in my nose and the Hibiclins body wash and still. They say it's because I'm immunocompromised, but. And I'm just, I cured. don't do anything. She's cured. I'm fabulous. Give me some like of your that. magic. I'm fabulous. Festively green for St. Patty's Day. Yes. Got Should your... have drove my diesel truck, it'd be better. Well, we, green pump. we got the <laughs> Explorer for many reasons for our family car. All right, see you later, babe. Love you. That's it. I need a fail cam. <coughs> Janice, Janice just, she was talking about the dogs and I was coming in and I tripped over my own feet, which I so often do. These two just know how to share. <laughs> Orion gave up. He's like, nope. Shit. You okay? Just randomly. Oh, okay, no, hurt my arm. Did it affect the MRSA? I'm fine. I'm okay. I just tripped over my feet again. Camera's, camera's fine. Oh, well, that's the important thing. <laughs> oh my god, no, because I like jolted my arm in that incision. It's gonna take a minute. You're gonna need more packing now. No, no more packing. <laughs> it's done with packing. Ask Carlo to help you yeah, out. Carlo, yeah. brace. Don't run after Ryan. Brace. Good girl. Thank you. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go charge up my smart drive and the wristband wheelchair because um, tonight we are going to Epcot, do you think you're gonna feel well enough to join us? I think so. Yay! We have not celebrated my birthday yet, and we have reservations at <coughs> the Japanese place. Um, We're gonna have a contest though. Who's gonna eat more? No, I was about to say, I'm not eating well, but they have rice that, rice is a safe food for me, and it's really good, so. Actually, today my nausea is not as bad as it typically would be. So maybe, you know, the birthday gods have graced me on the day we're celebrating my birthday. Oh my gosh, knock on wood, I don't want to jinx it. But <coughs> that's fake wood, but okay. What fake wood would it work? It works. Alrighty y'all. Well, I have hooked up to my infusion. It's almost finished. I am out here in my wheelchair because after Janice and I have rested for a few hours, so you know we have energy 
to go to Disney tonight. I want to take Harlow for a walk because the weather is beautiful. So we're going to go on a stroll in the wheelchair. Harlow is ready. And yeah, I'm feeling really empowered today because despite the struggles I've been having recently with the MRSA outbreak again and my GI symptoms, I made it to Orlando and although my birthday plans did get messed up because I was in the hospital on my birthday, chronic illness is not going to stop me. You know, we just overcome and adjust and we're going to have a fun day today. I was in a nice little trunk and all the faces neighborhood has this nice walkway by the water. So we're just really enjoying the beautiful weather and yes, living in Florida, I can guarantee there are gators in that lake. <laughs> Stay away from the gators, hippo. Just feels so nice to be outside. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> be careful with my <laughs> blogging and smart driving. <laughs> Literally just took her on a long walk and she still got so much energy. <laughs> That's right, you two. Burn your energy out before Disney. Yes, please. We're on the way to Disney. How are we liking the Explorer, y'all? This is our first time all four of us are in it together. I think it's going pretty well. So far, so Ryan good. Right there. Harlow has to go here, because in the trunk, we've got our wheelchairs and stuff, but we fit, and they've got AC back there, which is nice. Off to Disney we go. Another reason to get right. rid of that thing. I love my car trash can, but oh, I just right, swallowed a here. dog's paw hole. All right, come. Come on. Oh, Ryan. Get it. Come on. You can do it. There you go. <laughs> Okay, somebody made an awesome comment. They said <laughs> we should call our car trash can our garbage. Get it? Garbage? I do. I think we should get rid of it. No, it I love garbage. it. I forgot my mask, but I'm living dangerously. My feeding tube. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but this is the second time it's gone off, so something is up. Did you find the key? Yeah. Okay. Feeding tube probs. <laughs> All good. All right. Well, the dogs just walked by another service dog. Everyone did great. I love those good interactions where the dogs are just totally focused. I got a birthday pin. There's green on that too for St. Patty's Day. And we just renewed our DAS, the Disability Access System, which goes on our Magic Bands. And I'll put a link to that in the description if anyone's interested. It's just yeah. too long for me to explain, but it basically allows us to like, what? it helps accommodate our disabilities here at Disney. Yeah. And we've got a return time for Frozen <laughs> Ever After. I have not been on the Frozen ride since it opened and I'm so thrilled we get to do it on my birthday. And then we've got our reservation at the Japanese place. We've got the whole gang here. Of course, we got to do birthday photos here in front of the ball. Judd's being the photographer today. Yeah, they're just taking forever. We got a birthday photo. Now we're getting... Margaritas. For me. <laughs> Judd wants a margarita from uh, Mexico, so that's where we're going. There they are. All right. Green accounts, all right? <laughs> it's good stuff from the England Pavilion. How is it? It's good. Yeah? It's very crowded today, probably because it's St. Patty's Day, and I cannot maneuver these tight spaces with my smart drive. I'm not skilled enough, so I'm very thankful Judd is helping me out when I need it. Doing it one-handed, too. Yeah, one-handed, because he's got the margarita in the other hand. Precious cargo. Are you saying I'm precious cargo or the margarita? No, margarita is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Margarita makes us happy. Just saying. Can't put a price on happiness. It's time for the frozen ride. So excited. So on most Disney rides, they're slow moving and the dogs can just sit at our feet. If there's a ride where the dogs can't go on it, like a roller coaster, they provide a crate, which the service dog waits in, and then a cast member waits with the dog the whole time. They're usually like in the AC or shade or out of the way. They're really accommodating here, which is awesome. But the dogs can go on the frozen ride. This place is pretty poppin'.
I didn't know we were gonna go backwards. And um, that was actually, like the drop was kind of intense, but the dogs both did great. And thanks to my AFOs, which by the way, things at the AFOs are going really well now because I broke them in slowly and over a period of time. Like when I have to get up out of the wheelchair and transfer, so much more steady, so much more secure. They're just awesome. I'm really happy with them and how much they're helping me. I'm starting to feel... Too much excitement all at once. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. Crashing a bit, but um, like I said, we just have our sit down dinner and then we're going home. So really thankful for the good moments and good friends. And like I said, sometimes with chronic illness, it's tricky and we have to do things a little differently, but different does not mean worse. We're still having a great time. We made it. Japanese pavilion. It smells good. It does smell good. Oh my gosh. Y'all, okay, our favorite movie is Spirited Away and these are the little dust ball things. All right, so we found one thing we're getting. Oh my gosh. Ah! It's Mr. Totoro. <gasps> I love this. We've decided on the soot. Thing. These are awesome. Kind of looks like you. It does not. We're here for my birthday dinner. I am going to push an IV Zofran to hopefully help me enjoy this meal a little bit more. Do you need some special tactics? <laughs> Jeff's gonna eat a carrot. Gonna drown it in sauce first. Y'all, we have it on camera. Judd ate a carrot. I thought the carrot tastes out of it. Got our light up wheels. And I stole Judd's sweater. She did. <laughs> the floor glows. The floor is low. We made it back into bed. Oh my gosh. This is our sanctuary. I'm not feeling great, but I no regrets. I'm glad I had a good night. It was kind of the thing with chronic illness. You go and have a good time knowing there's going to be repercussions, but like Jenny said, we're in our sanctuary. Oh my gosh, leaving Epcot, my feeding tube like exploded. exploded. Sometimes a lot of pressure gets built up in my intestines and it leaks a lot and it went like it leaked through my shirt onto Judd's sweatshirt I was wearing. It's the most annoying thing. I mean, not the most annoying thing. It's fine. Um, but we are back in bed and I had a great birthday. Thanks for celebrating with me. So anyways, we were going to sleep. So I thought I'll say goodnight and thanks for joining us on our adventure. Oh, I was gonna say, Janice and I split a meal and we still had tons of leftovers. I think that was like the best choice ever. It was the best choice. To split our food. it's just so sad. <laughs> no, because now we got leftovers. So we can't finish a whole meal. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> it was it was a smart decision. It was a smart decision. Anyways, we're going to bed, so good night. And thanks for joining us on our adventure.